Veil gives refunds for virus closures, but you've got to use them on next year's Epic Pass. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, weekend traffic at the Eisenhower Tunnel grew for a second straight week, reaching more than 44,000 vehicles this Friday through Sunday. That's 9,000 more cars than last week and 14,000 more than the all-time low of 30,000 over Easter weekend, but down 116% compared to the same weekend last year, with 95,600 vehicles, still one of the lowest totals of 2019. It's opening day of Summit County's new Safer at Home rules. Now allowed is curbside pickup for non-essential retail, Summit Stage with limited service and capacity, and field services like real estate showings and landscaping. Opening this Friday, May 1st, are personal services like hair and nail salons, and in two weeks, May 11th, child care returns for critical workers only. County Commissioner Elizabeth Lawrence. We're not telling child care centers that they have to open. Um, they'll be able to make that decision on their own. Required for any reopening is the county's social distancing protocol form, like a cheat sheet on best practices for distancing and crowd size. Public Health Director Amy Weinland. Anybody entering in a um, public establishment, so that includes retail businesses, etc., should be wearing uh, face covering. Hotels and short-term rentals are closed through May 31st, while schools and ski areas are closed indefinitely. Rules change from county to county, and the statewide order still encourages people to recreate and sleep in their home county. Penalties for violating the local order are $5,000 and up to 18 months in jail. And this weekend, after responding to 28 calls for public health violations, Summit Sheriff wrote just one ticket. Trailheads were busy again. 474 cars recorded Friday through Sunday with one ticket for illegal parking at the Baldy Trailhead. Mayflower Gulch was busiest with 45 cars Saturday afternoon. Vail Resorts is giving refunds for virus closures, up to 80% off pass price for some Epic Pass holders. That 80% refund is for skiers who never use their pass, but all pass holders get a 20% credit, good only for an Epic Pass next season. Watch your email for more details. You've got to use that refund credit by Labor Day. Steve Plummer, aka Old Man Herman of Silverthorne, got 108 days on the snow this year, most of them at A Basin. But that's still far fewer than usual. My average is about 150. Uh, my record is 181. So this, this is probably my skimpiest year in a long time. Vail has also announced free pass insurance for all Epic Passes, just in case chairlifts do not start spinning on time next winter. This announcement comes soon after a California man sued Vail in a class action suit, demanding millions for all Epic Pass holders in California. That case is pending. The latest now on coronavirus across the U.S. as multiple states ease up on stay-at-home orders. Colorado claims 13,441 cases of COVID-19 today, the 17th most of any state. That is less than 1 20th of New York's caseload, the most in the U.S., and 1 8th of New Jersey with the second highest caseload. Those two also have the highest fatality rates of 87 and 67 people per 100,000. Alaska and Wyoming each claim fewer than 400 cases and fatality rates of less than 1 per 100,000 thousand people. Colorado's is 12 per 100,000. Summit County confirms 113 cases of COVID-19 as of yesterday, with eight new cases since Friday, two fatalities, and 449 patients tested. And now a headline from the COVID-19 Twilight Zone, where, in a California mining town, a man is convinced he just spent a week in quarantine with ghosts. Sky News reports on the caretaker at Cerro Gordo, an abandoned settlement east of Fresno, where the 32-year-old got snowed in last weekend, Overlook Hotel style. And by the time the sun appeared four days later, he was convinced ghosts and maybe a few bobcats had kept him company. Luckily, he's been there solo. No wife or kids to terrorize. Avalanche danger is moderate today in the Summit Eagle County zone with high hot sun through the day. Be wary of spring-like conditions, loose wet slides, and rollerballing on steep rocky faces. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports in Dillon, today is opening day of golf season in the high country. Eagle Ranch Golf Club in Eagle opens 18 holes today with virus rules, like one person per cart and no rakes at the bunkers. Gypsum Creek Golf Course outside Gypsum opens tomorrow, and greens fees are cheap all week, 35 to 60 bucks at both courses. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.